All right, everybody, so we are gonna be talking about some stuff for your SIG today, specifically in the 365 with this Icarus Precision Grip Module right here. So if you don't have a SIG 365, a, you know, a 320 series, something like that, one of the greatest things about that is the modularity, the ability to on the fly change these lower grip modules. That just gives you so much ability to tune that thing into you, whether it's a color preference, a size preference or a grip style preference. Maybe you want one a little thinner, maybe with a finger groove, without a finger groove, maybe side swells, because there are a bunch of different versions of SIG grip modules out there, some from SIG and many from the aftermarket as well. Because if you make something good, like the 320 and the 365 has turned out to be, the aftermarket is definitely gonna follow. And follow that aftermarket definitely did in the way of these grips, because these have to be some of the nicest and my most favorite parts that I've ever tested when it comes to SIG. We're gonna talk specifically about two different module styles they have. This one right here is not out yet. It's gonna be out in like 20 or 30 days or something like that. So this is the new model and this is the X model right here. This one, I get that to focus in. This one is currently out right now and they serve different kind of design purposes. Now. I first met the Icarus Precision people at that SIG Freedom Days out at Ben Avery here in Arizona. Awesome group of people out there from their marketing people to, I think it was one of the owners that was out there, or one of the lead owners, something like that. I think there's a couple of people involved in it. But uh, they had a lot of experience from law enforcement, pararescue guys, group guys uh, that helped them design, test these things out. And some of these grips have actually been improved by government entities and law enforcement entities for use. So that's always a huge positive when somebody's gonna approve something like that for use at work because that's a liability thing. And before we go too far and I forget, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna talk about the 100K video coming up. It's gonna be a specific video on a premiere and there's gonna be a ton of giveaway stuff in there. Some really cool companies have come on with some items. So stick around for that later. At the end of the video, we'll talk more about that. So what makes these any different than the stuff that's already out there from the factory SIG grips to some of the other aftermarket stuff that's out there? Well. Obviously the biggest thing is they're made out of metal, but these also have performance additions to them that the other polymer stuff out there currently in the market just doesn't have. And they just can't give you the feel that something that's machined out of metal is going to feel like when it comes to polymer. And just so we're clear on the names of these two when we go through this, this one is the Ace Evo. This is the full Gucci one right here. And this is the more duty kind of modest version right here, the Elite X. So they've got you covered whether it's from duty to Gucci, whether you want looks or just sheer performance, they've got something for you. And I know looks aren't everything, but like I've said before, I've never heard anybody say, well, I just wish my significant other was a little bit less attractive. All right, so those major differences. Obviously these are machined out of aluminum, which gives you a completely different feel than the polymer stuff out there. They are definitely both works of art, but there is a ton of performance stuff built into both of these grip modules. Like the texture, looking at the Evo first, you're gonna have multiple different sizes, multiple different patterns and directions of texture on here. Now this is gonna give you the ultimate in friction when it comes to controlling this thing under recoil. It's gonna have some swells, whether it's towards the rear, towards the front, a single finger groove up in that area of the trigger guard, and then obviously a nice flat front on this, which gives it a feel that it's a much larger grip than it actually is. The grip texture on both of these is gonna be pretty aggressive, but not so aggressive to the point where it becomes abrasive to your soft, supple, lotioned up hands. The Evo is gonna have a flared magwell, a double undercut trigger guard with plenty of texture all the way around those areas where you're gonna make contact with your hands. And overall, between the palm swells, the texture, the magwell, and that double undercut, the thing feels like it's just sucking your hand up into the grip higher, which ultimately helps you control that recoil better. 
you can get thumb ledges on both sides of this grip module. So my lefties have not been left out in the cold here. And these things are awesome because they're gonna give you a big surface area to control that recoil and a ton of texture in there to really just keep this thing as flat as possible. And since you can get them on both sides as an option, you left-handed people can get in the game too. Moving forward, you're gonna get three different spots of 1913 sized rail up there. And that's gonna help because there's a ton of different lights and lasers on the market and each one seems to have a different depth from that trigger guard. This will make life a little bit easier for you and help you be able to kind of position that the best for your grip and for your overall finger length. And to finish it off, that Evo gives you a very nice curved beaver tail, which is gonna again, help you control that recoil impulse and look very good while doing it. What about that more modest looking X Elite? So this is gonna give you all of the performance of that Evo, but with a little bit more of a plain look to it. So you're gonna get all of the same texture, changing patterns around there, nice flat front on that pistol grip. Again, it makes it feel like you have a much bigger, more solid pistol in your hands. You're gonna get a slightly extended beaver tail, double undercut with all that texture on the trigger guard, optional thumb ledges on both sides. Again, you lefties can be happy multiple pick slots up there. And overall, the way that these grips make this thing feel is just different than anything else out there on the market. I know a couple of things are already being brought up in the comments and that's what about holsters? Is anybody making holsters for it? And that is a yes, I have it right here. Talk more about that later. And then what about mag extensions? Cause they do have mag extensions. The one thing I will say about these is depending on the grip you buy, again, this one's not out yet. The X version is. The mag extensions are specific to the grip. However, your factory magazines will work with these, but if you buy the magazine extensions, they are specific to the grip you go with. You have to bear that in mind. Don't forget that because you don't wanna buy the wrong stuff and have to return it. The overall feel of both of these is just so much better than the factory grip module on these. Now, I am a fan of the SIG X series grips, but for some odd reason, when it came to the 365 XL that I have here, the more and more I used it, the more I disliked the factory grip to the point where I didn't even want to keep it. So I'm kind of glad that these came in that I met Icarus when I did because being able to use these, the overall feel of them and the performance, which we'll talk about here in a second, made me want to keep my 365 XL and make me want to carry it a lot more than I was because the factory grip module just, it just left a bad taste in my mouth and a bad feeling in my hand the more and more I used it. Out on the range, both the Evo and the X Elite made a drastic difference in how this thing feels. Something I've always said about these SIG triggers is they felt soft. Like they always felt like they had a soft reset, a soft break. That's completely different in these grip modules, probably because they're metal, but for some odd reason, they made the trigger feel that much more crisp. Managing recoil is a way easier task with these smaller pistols because you have all that texture, you've got that double undercut and you've got those ledges out of the front should you choose to go with them because they're an option. Ultimately, you can run this thing way more accurately and probably quite a bit faster than you can with a factory grip module with all of those performance features in there and just look good while you're doing it. And of course, the additional weight that these is gonna give you is gonna make a big difference in how they recoil out there in the range. So you are picking up some weight on them, but it just makes it feel so much better than that factory polymer stuff just in every way, from the way that it just pulls your hand up in tight, that double undercut, those ledges up on there, and it just presents so much more nicely. And then when you actually start pulling on the trigger, the way that it recoils, it just gives a firmness to your grip and such a more solid feeling in the trigger and the way that slide reciprocates that plastic and polymer just cannot give you. And my overall opinion on them is I flat out love them. They make me want to keep, carry, and use my 365 out on the range, whereas the factory grip module makes me want to get rid of it. It just doesn't fit me. Now, talking about the holster. So like I said, your factory holster's not going to fit these because of the ledges and everything going on here, but a and R design is making a very nice holster for these things. Used it quite a bit out there, had a good time with it. It did everything you're gonna need a holster to do. Very nice quality, didn't have any concerns about that holster and they are available from Icarus Precision directly. That way you can order everything at the same time because you've gotta get a holster to go with these grip modules if you're gonna carry it and it's not going to be a safe queen. And like I said earlier, these have to be my most favorite parts that I've tested on the SIGs, everything from the different slides, barrels, comps, all that different stuff that I've tested on SIGs, these give me the most smile 
and the most performance, especially out of these micro compacts. So with all of that being said, and I know somebody's already commented down below about, I bet they're too expensive or something. These are not cheap, okay? But bear in mind, these are milled out of aluminum and think about how much it costs to manufacture something like that out of a block of aluminum, the time, the design, the testing, all that stuff. So they're not cheap, okay? But keep that in mind. So these ones, uh, like I said, the Evo is not out yet, but it's probably gonna be very similar in price to the X. So the way that this one is set up right here with the ledges on both sides, because those are an option, you can go with those or not, completely up to you on that left-handed side, but lefties are gonna love it. Not including the uh, mag extension right there. You're looking at about anywhere from 320 to 340 bucks. And I know that might give some of you a heart attack, but again, remember what goes into not only designing, testing, but the end manufacturing of these things. So they're not gonna be cheap. And I know you can get grip modules for 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks or custom ones from different companies for a lot less, but they're gonna be polymer. They're probably not gonna give you the same advantages that these are. And that's a decision that you're gonna have to make based on your budget. But whether you're in it for the looks, the performance, or just sheer jealousy, I'm really curious to know what you think about these things down in the comments because hands down after testing them, I would definitely buy them. All right, we are nearing the end, so let's talk about that 100K giveaway. So I'm gonna do a premiere video, which means I will be actively responding in the comments while the video goes live. I'm gonna do it on a weekend so everybody gets a good chance at being there for it because we're doing a ton of giveaways. Everything from a channel swag pack of shirts I think hats and patches and stuff from TriStar Trading. We've got ammo and a swag pack from True Shot. We've got stuff from Blackout Defense. We've got stuff from Apex for triggers. Uh, we have a bunch of different companies throwing stuff here at the channel. You've gotta be 18, you gotta be in the US, that 48 that I can ship it to. It's gotta be legal where you live. And you have to be commenting in that premiere to win. And then I've got something really special for the Patreons out there. So. Make sure you get subbed up for that. You have to be a subscriber to win that. And then I will get that stuff shipped out to you should you be a winner. So get subbed up. Go show the Icarus Precision people some love. Cool group of people over there. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I'll see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.